Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Zone and guess where I'm at? In Ghana. And my mom is making okra soup so I decided to um, do a video of her version of okra soup. So she has a quarter cup of palm oil in here and she just um, seasoned it with onions. And so she's going to add in the salsa which is like tomatoes, um, two small tomatoes, lots of pepper, onions, and a little bit of ginger. That's what this sauce is. So my mom is cooking. So it's gonna go in here. This is Stella Zone Senior, okay? <laughs> Since I'm the junior. So she had the sauce cooking for 10 to 12 minutes and she added um, a little bit of water to um, clean out the remainder of the um, salsa that was um, stick to the earthenware that sun kind and then she added that like just about now sorry I didn't get a video because I'm, I'm giving a helping hand and I'm also uh, shooting the video so that's what has been going on for now so as you all can see what she's doing her hand is clean by the way so she's trying to get like all the bits and pieces of the sauces that is left in the um, asan kind and she's going to add that to the sauce so basically she's added about uh, obviously one cup of water to the sauce okay and she started with a quarter cup of palm oil with a little bit of ginger to season the oil up and then she added the um, salt salsa which is the pepper tomato just two little pieces of tomatoes onions and a little bit of ginger to ginger the swagger all right so Stay tuned, we're gonna continue cooking. Look at that, that looks good. So my mom is adding um, the fish right now and she's adding mackerel. She added the mackerel. Let's see, she's using the asankai. This is traditional, okay? So she's added, she's adding the mackerel and the tuna, I believe that's what it's called, sometimes kinfish. In Ghana it's called opoku. <laughs> Oh, poku, so oh, eh, hey, like she said, a oh, tuna fish, you know. So, look at that, that looks oh, oh, oh. can't wait. And the bunk is going on. So, those of you don't, that do not understand chi or cannot even speak chi. So, basically, what my mom is saying is that she is sort of steaming the fish in the sauce, you know, she's, she's making sure that the fish is really marinated. Like the sauce is really marinated into the fish to give it that tasty flavor when you eat the food So basically that's what my mom was saying. Okay, and this is the chef in the kitchen <laughs> She's adding salt, you know to taste Seasoning it with salt mm -hmm. My mom is a really good cook. So if you say oh Stella zone, you really know how to cook Guess where I got it from the apple does not fall okay. far from the tree so guys, after um, marinating the fish uh, in the sauce for 12 to 15 minutes, my mom is going to add, this is crab, um, wille, and um, beef, which she cooked. And so she's going to add that to the sauce as well. Cow skin is wille, wille. Not shatawale, no, wille. Yeah, so yep, that's how it looks. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she did not marinate the meat and the crab in the sauce because she has already cooked it, steamed it, seasoned it, and mm, mm, mm. so that's why we um, marinated the fish in the sauce instead of the cooked meat. So everything is look at that. Look, look at it. It's looking fantastic. Girl. Mm -hmm. There's no place like home. You will make it in America, but trust me, making it in Africa adds a touch to it. Okay? This is Mama's cooking. All right, guys. So after 10 minutes, my mom added one cup of water to the sauce because she was she's going to be adding the leaves um, in here. Ma, what's your free leaves in the same? 
All right. So if you don't have this um, data loan, that what that's what they call it in Ghana. Okay. Oh yes. So if you don't have that, yeah, you can add Kontomre. Or if you don't have contemporary, which I know that in America we don't easily usually get contemporary from the African store, you can use spinach in place of this. Mm -hmm. So spinach will work perfectly well with this because you know you can find spinach in every grocery stores across the um, state. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut it. Mm. Looks good already. I'm like hungry. Banku driver. This is how Ghana Banku is made, okay? It's made by this beautiful. Look at the hair. <laughs> Look at that. So that's how. So that's the pot we normally cook um, the Banku in. That's the. It's like I call this the staring. Um, this. Well, what do you call it? Bankuta, but it's like. Yeah, it's the ladder, but it's like more like the steering wheel, okay? And then we use coal pot, okay? That's the coal pot. Yep, that's how you see it has like a flat um, edge, and that's what you use to stir the banco. Yeah, and then you use this is more like your brakes, <laughs> and that is to hold the that is to hold the um, pot in place, okay? That's to. <laughs> See, my mom is making comments behind and so that's the the metal pot is the coal pot and you can see the charcoal and then of course you have the fire going and so that's how normally banku is made in ghana okay that's how original banku is made in ghana it's not like in america where you still get you still i i think i use this nina um product banku product and it's you get the same consistency as the ghana um banku and also the same taste but I just wanted to show you guys this is how banku is made in Ghana. Homemade banku. And banku is actually made from conjo and cassava dough mixed with water and a little bit of salt to taste. And so we had about, I'll probably say four to five cups of conjo and two to three cups of cassava dough. And then you know you have to mix it and get like a liquid consistency. And so that is banku for you. And then from the liquid consistency, it starts to like harden up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, Banku in Ghana. Okra soup. All right, guys. So that's my mom stirring the okra. She's going to be making okra soup with Banku. All right, guys. So she's adding the okra, okay? And it's been 15 minutes after she added the green leaves, okay? So now... She's adding the okra. My mom is like, what's what okra? It's okra. Okra soup. Incruman kwai. Momi honu. So that's the first batch of the okra. We have a little bit more to go. So she's going to bring the rest. I'm telling you, and they did hear her. Hi, the banco will Priscilla. We send you our love and care. <laughs> Prince and Julia, we love you guys. <laughs> so, we are adding the second badge of the um okra, and she's using that sun kind. This one, no blender, loca, loca. She won't even appreciate a vitamin if I get one for her. So the okra is very like slimy so my mom was giving us a few tips on um what um alters the sliminess of an um for the okra okay so the soup is basically ready the heat is like on low about like i would say two and so we are going to let it cook for um she's going to cover it and let it sit for i'll probably say two to three minutes or the most will be five minutes yeah and then it will be ready to serve so for those of you who did not understand what i said earlier on she said you know the sliminess of the okra there's this particular fish that i i told you about the tuna which is opoku it can alter the um the sliminess of the okra and when you cook the soup for a very long time too it can alter in terms of the how slimy the okra can get okay so guys this is it right here
home chill. Say thank you to my mom for making this wonderful, delicious soup. All right, I'll be back. Let's see how our banco is going. Pacho banco no eko ni se, eko se. Almost done. This is what we're having this afternoon. Um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't go through with you, but first process, I could have shown you how to make the tenoka. But we'll do it next time. Yeah. Next time, we'll show you how we did it. Mm -hmm. But it's simple. It's easy. It's easy. So, make. You just mix it with water, and then anything. Water, yeah, cassava dough, condo, salt. Mm -hmm. Depending on what salt you want. Then you just stir. You need your fire, your char you need a charcoal of, at least to start the fire. The as well, yes, you don't need coal pots because guess in America I don't use coal pot, okay? Stay to you guys, I love you. Alright guys, so this is the end product of the okra soup. I have my fish, I have my crab, and I have it's very hot. I have my wele. So what you do is you just scoop bamboo. Dip it in the soup. Mm. Don't mind my hair, okay? <laughs> I'm just stretching it out. This is delicious, okay? So I'm gonna put the video up until we meet right here on Stella's Zone. I'm enjoying Ghana. Bye bye.